Hello and welcome people back to Let's Play Forbidden Siren. No, 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 not Mamoru. We are just going to do the second objective of this nice lady. Guess she's, she has great facial expressions. No, don't look! What? Where am I? What happened? What happened to that tsunami? What's going on? And where's Soji? Oh. Lucky me. What was that? It's not usually like that. So yes, uh, this is what her shtick is. Some of the characters have special abilities. And we don't have to rescue Soji this time around. So yes. Some of the characters, just like how we've seen with Shu, have special abilities relating to sidejacking, and hers is flashback. We can see visions from the past. If we just adjust the uh, speed uh, the, the radio dial correctly. So there is there is a boy playing with a with a toy robot, and we see a key right over there. That's the important part. However, well, it's pretty obvious where he's playing, but the key sadly isn't over here. It also ain't lost. Well, don't you gotta like dig up the sandbox to get the costume piece? No, you don't get costumes in this. Dang. See? Uh, and you, you could actually see for a moment there a hint as to what to do with, um, you know, uh, how to get the uh, secondary objective. And there is a flashback over here, but you cannot sight jack while you're driving. That's just not very smart. So may as well pull up. Uh, it's a little bit of a waste of time to sight jack this, because it's exactly the same one as before. It just appears in a few locations, just so you don't miss it. Because this is a tutorial. The other ones uh, often will not be quite so um, generous. But also most of the times, if I recall correctly, um, getting the information uh, through the, uh, for the sidejacking is not required in order for you to actually pick up a thing. Uh, just like how um, just like how it was with uh, picking up the, uh, you know, like how it was skippable uh, to pick up the key for the, um, for the guardhouse. Uh, there are certain things you can just uh, skip past and just not do if you lock out, for example. Like if you happen to lock out and, um, what am I call it? Uh, just sneak past the sniper without getting your Soji killed. Uh, the game will not prevent you from uh, completing the stage. It just is highly unlikely. And uh, there are ways to like um, 
there are ways to just sort of, I wouldn't say glitch pass, but like, uh, you know, um, sort of get around some of this game's, uh, uh, some of this game's uh, slight flaws. Also, the level design is uh, very forgiving uh, when it comes to what you can explore and what you can't explore. Uh, there is very little in terms of uh, invisible walls is what I mean to say. If it looks like you can get through a place, if, you, if it looks like you can climb something, you usually can. And there is an unarmed attack, as I have demonstrated right now. It's fairly worthless. Fairly. Does not mean completely, though. There are very few situations where the, um, where the unarmed attack will actually serve you well. And I'll make sure to demonstrate it, because... Um, uh, I've, th that's, that's another one of those things that I was talking about before. Uh, the game will not prevent you from completing a stage uh, even if you haven't uh, triggered all of the flags. I do cut out most of the map screens. Uh, simply because uh, I use those as a means of all right, so where are we in the walkthrough now? <laughs> Which I am. Uh, well, I have got. Uh, I have beaten this game before. Oh, remember this number: two o three. There are two hundred and three versions of that robot toy. Uh, well, no, that's just the model of the of the toy, as well as. The number of the room that we have to uh, we have to go to in order to find something relating to it. Yeah, I do. Mo I do cut out most of the map screens because uh, they're easy to find on the timeline. That's first of all, uh, and second of all, I use them as an excuse to uh, look up uh, the. Uh, uh, look at the uh, DFAQ, which I use not because it's actually difficult to get through this game. Um, see, right there, like uh, I managed to get past the sniper, uh, even though I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to distract him with a car. You upgraded but, your, uh, uh, your technique enough to where you can dodge bullets, it's okay. I, I I just I just sort of whiffed it. I was like I wasn't even thinking of of the sniper because I thought since this is the second objective and Soji like getting through there isn't required maybe they just remove the sniper altogether, but no they didn't. <laughs> that is another thing that second objectives often do. Uh, they change how uh, how the levels work. Uh, they also often ch uh, they also often add or remove enemies, or uh, like next to uh, what you have to do. But they will always start from the same location as the first uh, as the first mission. Look at the look at the closer look at this robot uh, in uh, in the archives, which will also be included in this video. Acquire the wire. Now this one's a little bit 
seems a little bit um, like you know out there uh, it's like acquire a wire where the fuck do I find a wire in this dump right however it's not bullshit um, because uh, if you side jack in uh, an, uh, if you side jack around enough uh, and look up uh, one of the shibi toes that's standing on the roof uh, you'll actually notice uh, once, like when he's uh, uh, sort of going around the place, uh, that in one of the uh, in one of the corners of this place there is actually a wire, like right there. That's how you're supposed to find out about a lot of things, actually, uh, by looking through your enemy's eyes, because they will. So often is there a Trotsky zombie? Just, just curious. Is is there what? Is, is, does Trotsky show up as a zombie in this game? Um, I just gotta know. No. Uh, but damn. Okay. Never mind then. Thankfully, ice pick is like one of the best weapons in the entire game. There are stronger weapons, yes, but uh, like for example. The broad axe is stronger, but it's definitely way slower, which is why ice pick is better. Uh, but now this enemy is uh, stuck with my uh, pitiful wire, uh, with my pitiful rope cutter. Sucks to be him, I guess. And that is actually an important part of uh, your strategy in this game, figuring out which weapon you would rather the enemies had, uh, you know, because like for, uh, in, sadly there is no option of being like, pick it up and throw it far away. <laughs> Just the added extra fuck you. Like that's what I would do in this situation, just throw it on the fucking roof or uh, like in just throw it in some place that the zombie will not look. Because I right. can understand not pick, like I can understand not picking up like a bajillion uh, trash items because obviously your characters are not carrying a freaking uh, uh, portable TV, uh, like 17 portable TVs around with them at all times. Right to use as breakable weapons, unlike some protagonists in horror games. Mission accomplished. It's always so sudden. Moving on to the next item. This afternoon, a woman's body was found in an apartment in Shinjuku. Body appears to be that of Ryoko Segawa, who worked at a local restaurant. We have a reporter on the situation. Yes, a woman was found buried. Ryoko, why? <laughs> shut up! Don't make a sound, I'll kill you! Just shut up and listen, alright? I, I didn't do it, alright? I, I, I saw her. I, I passed her on the stairs on my way up to the apartment. And when I stepped into the room, th 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 there was a dead woman in there. And the cops are saying it's real cool. I don't know how to explain it, but it wasn't me. Come on, please. Help me. I didn't do it. All right. I believe you. Oh. <gasps> Yeah, it seems legit. I would totally trust someone Sweet. after they fucking held me at knife point. U ultra convincing. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm, I'm telling you, I didn't kill her. I'll kill you if you don't help me. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. We, we, will, we will go back to Akiko's level one more time, because while the, all of the objectives have been cleared, I have missed a certain archive item. And uh. I want to get all of them. Thankfully, 
um, it's not something you actually have to put a lot of effort uh, in order to get. Um, and we have seen it a few times. Uh, it's uh, next to where the sniper is. A poster. No, no, no. Uh, it's a plant. Uh, we've seen a very, a very prominent plant on the. Um, uh, it's like a, the chain link fence uh, next to the uh, next to the sniper. Over there, see? Oh yeah. Uh, we just need to examine it. Thankfully, when it comes to uh, most archive items, uh, they actually they actually do not give a fuck. Uh, they actually do not give a fuck when it comes to um, whether or not there are enemies attacking you at the moment. With some items, it's a little bit different. Like when you have to interact with them. They do care whether the enemy is there, but for checking out a poisonous plant, yeah, it's already done. I can leave the stage. Oh, and in case you're wondering why I have a weapon there, I made a little cut in order to remove a lot of um, a lot of pointless uh, walking around and searching where the plant was. But yeah, uh, let's now look at the archives. The ones we haven't explored yet are flashing and, well... Persona is... news? Mm-hmm. Moving on to the next item. Uh, this afternoon, a woman's body was found in an apartment in Shinjuku. The body appears to be that of Ryoko Tegewa, who worked at a local restaurant. We have a reporter on the scene. Yes, a woman was found dead in her apartment here behind me, having been beaten to death with a blunt object. Police are treating this case as homicide and have issued a warrant for Mr. Soji Abe, now the prime suspect in this murder case. Neighbors have said that the woman and Mr. Abe were known to have argued often. In fact, they were hard quarreling on the night before the murder. The suspect is probably still at large in the area, and the police are searching for him as we speak. Moving on to local And then just cut off. That was great. This But yeah. Uh a lot of these archive items will actually have a date on them and it's uh it's important because uh some of them uh some of them come from uh, different uh, different time periods. And it's actually relevant to the game's story. This one's from the day of today, uh, as in 2005, obviously. <laughs> the futuristic year of 2005. Uh, it was all re it was all very much made for uh, around the time when this was released. Yeah. Same as uh, the original Forbidden Siren. Yeah, we have another another news video. <laughs> this one, this one's pretty special, if I recall correctly. Oh no, that's a that's another one I'm thinking of. Good evening and congratulations, Rico. Your song has leaped into the charts at number four. Where are you right now? Good evening, Miss Kaibashira. Hoki. You're on location, right? <laughs> Shooting your TV series. How's everything going? Good evening, I understand you'll be appearing in a very popular TV drama. You've been very busy and very successful. Good evening, Miss I'm sure your sister Eri is watching from heaven, smiling down on you right now. Good evening, Miss Kaibasha. And now, will you sing your song? Good for evening. Us? Yes, Miss Kaibasha. Hoki. And here's Rika Azuma with this week's number four song, Azteca Queen. This wow, just straight up ignored her. 
This was so so authentic, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Good evening, it's Mr. Kashiman. Good, good evening. <laughs> 1972. 444 Pulitzer. That doesn't mean anything in Japanese. And here are the, uh, the letters that we found a few levels ago. Oh, and by the way, uh, I'm sorry if I'm skipping the text uh, somewhat sporadically at times, uh, but this does not have any sort of preset uh, text advancement. Uh, it's just like the longer you press, the more uh, uh, the more text is going to uh, be skipped, so it's a little bit uh, a little bit weird to uh, you know uh, move it pa uh, move it around at the the reasonable pace. Nineteen seventy six. So she's just around the same age as Shu. Not exactly the same age, but somewhere around that. She's almost as old as you are, Nico. No. <laughs> You're right, no one's as old as you are, Nico. Now this is... This is another one of those completely unnecessarily... Uh, completely unnecessary information. Like, right. This is a fucking Wikipedia article about about a line of toys. I fucking love it. It's just like we don't need to know this, but we will anyway. Is there a commercial for it? No. Good nightmares. What if it made the frickin' Robies noise from Voltron? Well, then it would have been even less successful than it already was. <laughs> but yeah, that that sound effect. <laughs> 